Hey guys, it's just a quick video. I'm going to show you how you can create a dynamic looking shadow inside of Fusion. We're going to start off by creating some shapes. We will use an S rectangle over here and uh, let's view this. And I'm going to just reduce the width and the height. So I'm going to right click on width, click on expression and link it with height so that we can control both width and the height like so. And then after this S rectangle, we will add in a S grid to this so click on add and let's take a look at it this is our grid and we will change the uh, y cells and the x cells over here and change the offset as well so i'm going to use a grid like this and then what we can do is create an a simple ellipse shape so we'll use an s ellipse for that and let's take a look at it uh, of course it's too big so i'm going to just uh, resize this so let's just scale that down after this s grid also add in an s render to this so that um, we can see it in the viewer over here. If you don't need S render, it will not work. Um, then after the S ellipse, we will add in another S render to this and uh, we will merge these two together. So this will result in merge one. Take a look at it. So now we have both the ellipse and the rectangles over here. And I wanna put some gap between uh, these rectangles over here. So I will change the x offset a little bit so yeah something like that we can animate the shape but for now let's just change the color so i'm going to go to the x rectangle and go to style and let's give it a random color after the s rectangle you can add in a, an effect called race so if you add that in then you can see that we have the race over here and you can just move it around so what we can do is we can go to S ellipse S render over here and after the S render we will add in a transform node. So search for transform, click on add and on this transform we will right click in the center and click on publish. Now let's go back to the rays over here and we can right click in the center, go to connect to transform one and center and now you can pretty much change the position of the transform and the rays will react to the location of this um, ellipse over here. You can go to the rays over here and change the settings. You can change the look of it. There is also another node, it's called light rays. If I'm not mistaken, so let me just um, find that. Yeah, it's, it is light rays and um, pretty much uh, looks the same, but it has some extra bit of controls over here. So again, we'll go to the position over here, right click, connect to transform one and center and then we can just move it around anywhere that we want um, so let's go to the right rays and we can change the colors as well if it does not work then you have to change the source threshold if you increase it then it will uh, change the color as well but then you have some uh, other options over here that you can play around with you can increase the length and uh, the softness and uh, the brightness over here as well. Uh, you can change the composite composite type as well over here. Again, this will react to the shape over here. What I'm gonna use though is um, I really like this real shadow uh, fuse that you can find in the reactor. I'm gonna just change the decay type and change the weight as well. I'm gonna increase it, the strength as well. You can quickly change the type from real shadow to long shadow and looks pretty cool again uh, if you now right click on the light position connect to transform one center it will again uh, react to the shape over here that is pretty much it you can use either of these three um, effects to create this dynamic looking shadow uh, once you're happy, you can just go ahead and connect it with your media out and render out your animation. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Please do leave a like and also subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one.